Welcome back guys, this is the BV8000 Pro review. Since I've had it, I've frozen it. Wow, that is cold, look at that ice. Submerged it in water. And dropped it. This is definitely a rugged smartphone. It's definitely waterproof and it's definitely frozen proof. After all them tests, um, I then used it for around a week. Now there's absolutely no question in build quality uh, for this phone. It is solid and really well built. It's got nice metal sides, rubber top and bottom to cushion any sort of blows and landings, which it did do in the drop tests that I carried out. The screen also is untouched. There is no marks or scratches on it at all. The back of the phone as well has got the hardened rubber back with the metal cover that removes for SIM cards and your SD cards to go into. So overall, it's a really well solid built phone. Waterproof, shockproof, and frozen proof, like I said. So the phone is packed full of really good specs. So this phone is around £177 at the moment on sale. Uh, it's got 6 gig of RAM. It's got 64 gigabytes of storage. And it's also running Android 7. Uh, 1080p display and a 5 inch screen. So it's definitely up there in terms of specs. So you get a solid phone, well built. I would definitely tailor this phone towards builders. On a building site, any sort of tradesman. Uh, anyone going hiking a lot and uh, uh, you know backpacking or whatever, the perfect phone. So here we have a full HD display, 1080p. Um, the glass is hardened glass. It's Corning uh, Gorilla Glass, really, really solid. And the display is really nice with good viewing angles on the colours. Brightness, that's uh, maximum brightness. That is quite bright on there. That is the dimmest. Well, so it goes fairly dim. I always download, download this program called Dimly. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Dimly. And especially decent at night time. When you're reading your phone, you can turn it right down. Very, very hard to see. You've got to make sure you don't turn it down too much though. But yeah, I use Dimly sometimes to get the brightness right down. Okay, so I have a few screenshots here from the battery usage. All right, so at 1% here, it's had 17 hours of usage. Screen is 43%. And I was using apps that day, mostly WhatsApp uh, and also the maps, which I use every day. Screen on time for that day was 6 hours and 38 minutes. So battery life wasn't too bad. And that's at 10.42 in the evening. And I get up around about um, 6 in the morning. All right, so 6 in the morning to about 10.42 in the evening. So I get a good a good day's use out of it. Uh, I must admit that there's no gaming involved um, on that day. So I didn't really play any games, just the occasional YouTube. Uh, the next day is 2%. Got me up to 11.25 on that day. Again, a lot of maps. Um, Facebook are my mostly used, used apps on that day. Screen on time is 6 hours and eight minutes so the battery isn't bad at all although it's called the bv8000 it's not an 8000 milliamp battery okay so the battery usage isn't too bad at all i suppose if you are gaming uh, in quite heavy use then you won't get the sort of times that i've got on here mine's uh, moderate use so let's talk about the gps on this phone so on this i, I did a screen capture and recorded um, some of my route to work there's about 15 minutes of, um, of footage on there. So I'll speed it up and you can have a look that it's pinpoint accurate and I had no issues uh, with the sort of drop out of signal or anything like that. So have a look. Okay, let's show you some video playback and the audio quality on this mobile phone. Go straight into YouTube and a fellow YouTuber called Kesa Reveal. It's sort of a tech review channel like myself.
Let's turn the volume right up. And that is loud. So this is where I create all the content for the channel. I also do some PC and console gaming, as well as relax and listen to some music in here. So let's start with my most recent desk setup. This is my mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now, I picked this up somewhere around 2015, and I decided to go with this one because I like having the ability to upgrade it or work on it if something goes wrong. So for those two reasons alone, this is the reason that I haven't picked up a new one. Okay, so video playback is very, very good. Audio quality isn't too bad either, or it goes really, really loud as you did here then. Uh, but if you want to check Case's uh, channel out, I'll link that down below. Uh, very, very good quality videos. Okay, so the BB8000 Pro comes with a rear 16 megapixel camera and a front facing 8 megapixel camera. When taking pictures outdoors with plenty of light, the camera performs quite well and I was quite happy with it. Even zooming in onto the, some of the detail, um, you can see there's quite a bit of detail still there before the softness starts to set in. Obviously when you bring in the phone indoors, um, the quality obviously does drop a little bit as it is hard for these cameras to take in enough light. Um, you know indoors unfortunately, but that's what you get with a lot of these budget smartphones indoor performance isn't always great But I'll leave you now with a few samples of videos and pictures so you can make your own mind up What did you do? Climb up my slide. Did you? Yeah. You can slide down then. Go on 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 then. It's not very slidey, is it? Let's see. Where? Over. Okay. Should we go over the shed? Yeah. I don't think I can see her. I don't see her though. I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, so on the side of the BV8000 Pro, you have a nicely positioned fingerprint sensor. So when you're holding it like that, you can lock it straight away with your thumb. And I must admit the accuracy is bang on the money. Although a little bit slow at times, it does unlock. And also you can just, instead of just registering your phone, you can also register your finger on this side. So I registered that one. So you can unlock it with your finger. Lock. Unlock. I've not seen no drop in performance on uh, unlocking this phone with the fingerprint. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so if you all remember the BV6000, the BV6000 had issues with the gyroscope and you wouldn't be able to use it for stuff like this. But on the BV8000 Pro, the gyroscope works just fine. There we go. And you can look around like that. So much more improvements versus the BV6000. So I was happy with that as well. Gaming on the BB-8000 Pro. A very good controller I've been using as well by iPega.
Let's turn that down a bit. That does go very, very loud on this phone. So, with the specs on this phone, it does handle gaming rather well. And having a, uh, a nice controller for it makes it even better. So easy to maneuver and control. And all the buttons work as well. Sweet. Wrecked. So here we have a resource hungry game in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And again, this performs rather, rather well on it too. Although I can't drive. Ah. Oh, it's going to blow. I'm wasted. So I think you can see there, guys, that the gaming isn't too bad on the BB8000 Pro. And if you can, try and get one of these controllers. They work really, really well. Overall speed and snappiness is okay. I'm quite happy with that. You can navigate through the phone <clears throat> quite easily. So there's no issues there. Very happy with that. Okay, this is the end of the review. I really hope it's been useful. If there are any questions, then please pop them down below. Um, I will include a link in the description if you want to take a look at it or even purchase one. Um, I do use affiliate links on all of my videos, so if you do purchase one, I will get a slight commission. And obviously this will go to, baked straight back into my channel to help uh, fund other sort of purchases and um, just the general upkeep on my channel so that'd be really appreciative if you can if not don't worry just subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching guys